I know I've said this before, but shoes truly do have a transformational power on our outfits and how we perceive them. It can really change the mood or the overall look. And today we're going to be focusing on just that what shoes to wear with what types of pants. Now, I want to kind of point out here that none of these outfits or none of these pairings are actually bad. It's more just what our eye has settled on and the current sartorial zeitgeist, what we are sort of seeing and what appeals. So you may find that a combination that I say maybe feels off for whatever reason is actually one that feels really right to you. And there are variables that will determine whether or not it feels right to you. And I'm gonna talk about that a bit later in the video. Now. The pair of trousers that I'm going to be starting with is a pair of fluid drape trousers. They're these grey ones here, you'll have seen me wear loads. I'm going to link some alternatives because I know the shipping from Gentle Herd can be a bit of a nightmare. But the first thing that I want to point out is that you need to have your trousers tailored to the right length. So I'm really lucky that the Gentle Herd ones are sort of the perfect length on me. I'm going to compare it to a style that I've got from Alessandra that I need to get taken up. So you can see that the pair from Alessandra have a lot of fabric just dragging at the hem so it means that there's going to be a little bit too much puddling when I am wearing them over any shoe it doesn't really matter even with a high heel so what you want to look for is a pair that just grazes the ground when you have no shoes on Now, there's a couple of rules of thumb here and what we're considering is the visual line and how our shoes are disrupting that or really working harmoniously with it so starting with a sandal now sandal is a style that does expose a bit of our foot so this this is a style that I find is an exception with pretty much every style of pant because we do expect for there to be cutouts, for parts of our foot to be revealed and others to be concealed by the leather straps. Personally, I prefer how a dainty sandal looks just because you do have all that volume around your foot which is a much wider or big element and then having the daintier shoe has a slimmer proportion which works really harmoniously. You could also do a chunkier sandal but just remember this is going to add a lot more visual weight to the bottom of your outfit. So you need to think about how you are balancing that out on your upper half, possibly with something that is a little bit more oversized, otherwise you have this huge disconnect with how slim fitting something is on top and then how chunky the shoe is on bottom. And this actually also applies to a boot as well. So I'm going to show you two different boot styles here. So you have the chunky luxole style boot which is still very much on trend and you can see paired with these trousers it does feel quite heavy there's a lot of visual weight balanced on this outfit so one thing that you could actually do is tuck your trousers into the boots and this is a really nice way to create a totally different shape may not be something that appeals to everybody but I really like this combination I actually prefer the way that trousers like this look with a slimmer boot something that doesn't have an overly thick or platform sole so something that feels a little bit more dainty I especially like it with a square toe or with something that has a little bit more point to it when it comes to flats you could either opt for a ballet flat which is a huge trend in terms of shoes for the season or with a loafer now I prefer a loafer and the reason being that it conceals more of the foot and this allows you to maintain that visual line without creating any disruption because when you do have a little bit of skin on show it does cause this visual break which can be a little bit jarring and throw your proportions off balance. So you can see with the loafer it fully conceals my foot as the trousers just drape over the top. When I'm wearing a ballet flat, which this is actually quite a trendy combination, the fluid drape trouser with the ballet flat, you'll see here that there is a little sliver of skin that is revealed here just at the top of the vamp of the shoe. Now this creates a little bit of a skin sandwich that Amy Smilovic from Tibby often talks about and you can see what I'm saying here with how it creates a visual break. Your eye sort of suddenly stops because there are a few visual breaks there at your foot which just really disrupts the flow. So you you can see why I personally prefer a loafer over a ballet flat, but you could do either or. Now I find the same rule with the ballet flat applies when you're wearing a high heel and a pointed style. So thinking shoes for the office here, again you are getting that little visual break which can be a bit jarring unless you're wearing a shoe and also a trouser which are in the same color family as your skin tone then you're actually going to continue to have that long lean visual line and it's going to make your legs look really long. Final pair of shoes to talk about are the sneakers and I find that these work really well both with a high top or even with something that is a little bit chunkier. Again the reason being that you don't have that disruption to the visual line because the trousers drape over the top of the sneaker. Next we'll talk about the cropped straight leg jean which all of these rules will apply when you are also wearing a cropped straight leg trouser gosh that is a bit of a mouthful so 
Again, when it comes to sandals, I find that a really nice dainty sandal is the type that works best. Ideally something that doesn't have a strap that goes across the front of the ankle because that is going to create a visual break or a line here. And you will see this reflected in the high heeled sandals that I'm wearing because you do have that part of your ankle and your leg exposed. If you want to wear a high heeled sandal, you might like to opt for a mule or something that doesn't have a strap right across the front of your foot. So something that is more of a slip on style. My beloved slide sandals again also look really really chic and you can probably understand now why these have been one of my most worn shoes over the past few years. When it comes to a chunkier sandal I would recommend if you want to wear this style to opt for something that again doesn't have a strap across the front of the foot. While I really like this from a practical perspective I do find that again it creates that line which can be a little bit jarring. It can also be quite heavy on the foot and despite these being a straight leg jean they do look very slim when I am wearing those chunky sandals so I would think about how I could balance that out with the rest of my outfits think oversized blazer or a really big jacket or maybe a super snuggly knit sweater. Moving on to flats I find that this particular style of pant or jean works really well with ballet flats and loafers of any kind. Personally I prefer the ballet style because it exposes more of your foot and it adds in this really lovely feminine touch to your outfits I just think it's a little bit more elegant as well. A loafer does also look great and I would avoid anything chunky or that has any really large scale embellishment across the front. My Todd's loafers are a really good example of what I would avoid whereas the Cezanne loafers they do still have the embellishment but everything is on more of a slimmer scale. It is sort of more refined and it doesn't feel as pushed from a trend perspective. When it comes to boots, any kind of boot works with this particular style of trouser or jean. If you are wearing more of a lug sole, again, think about how you can balance out the mood of that. Because it is very utilitarian, you may like to look for details that have a little bit more femininity and prettiness to them on your upper half. So maybe think one of those really lovely cropped boucle jackets, but in a longer length to help balance out your proportions. The key detail that you want to consider is that the hem of your jeans or your trousers do cover the top part of the shaft of the boot so that there's no skin on show. You can see with the ankle boots it does create this very awkward little line again that visual break that we are trying to avoid so that we have this really nice lean long line. Now with sneakers I find that high tops don't really work. You have these really awkward proportions here and it just reveals that little awkward sliver of skin which we are sort of looking to avoid and I just find it's not very well balanced. I much prefer something that is a little bit chunkier or even slimmer fitting on the foot. To me this is very mum of duty style and definitely something that I have rocked myself. Finally we have high heels and these do work really nicely. Again very similar to the ballet flat they expose a lot of the front of your foot so you do have these nice breaks which don't feel jarring. The third pair that I'm talking about are my Levi's ribcage straight jeans. I'm wearing them in the black in the video and these have a much longer hemline than my totem jeans and so they require a kind of different set of shoes to work with them. So again starting with sandals I find that these actually work really nicely regardless of the type of sandals that you want to wear. They are a straight leg jean but they do have a slimness to them. I especially like them with a slip on slide so my YSL tributes really coming to the fore here but they also work with those sandals that I've got from the row and the key element being that they while those sandals have a strap across the front of my foot that would otherwise cut me off the jeans conceal them and that's really the detail that we are looking for. <laughs> They also work really nicely with a high heeled sandal that do also have that ankle strap detail because you are covering it and it just kind of gives that additional illusion of height. Ballet flats are another style that I think works really nicely with this particular kind of jean or trouser. So whereas I would avoid it with the more fluid or wider leg trouser, I find that it looks really harmonious with this slightly slimmer fitting pant. I think the reason being that you can see some of the same qualities reflected in both styles because the trouser does take on more of a slimmer shape and the shoe also has that same quality. While you do get that slightly awkward sliver of skin, it just doesn't feel quite so jarring. And the same can be said with a high heeled shoe that has a slightly similar shape. When it comes to sneakers, these work perfectly with a high top. I think that they are kind of a match made in heaven with the Converse's, but equally you can wear them with more of a traditional sneaker as well. I personally don't mind either way. I think that this is a very cool kind of casual vibe, especially if you're wearing like an oversized t-shirt layered underneath a big oversized sweater, very cozy with a chic coat for winter. 
When it comes to boots, I do not really like the way that these look with a chunky Luxole boot. To me, it does just feel a little bit too bottom heavy, but again, you can make it work by thinking about what other items you are wearing on top. Finally, we've got loafers, and again, this is another instance where I find that the chunkier style just doesn't look quite as good as the slimmer style of loafer option. So again, something that I would take into consideration. If you really want to make sure that there is no skin being revealed, then you could easily just slip on a sock, as otherwise you may get a little bit of skin on show when you are walking. The final pair of pants I wanted to talk about, I'm going to show you the jeans version, is the skinny pant or skinny jean. I know that these don't seem to be as in favour as they were you know a decade ago or even two decades ago if you're as old as I am but <laughs> I felt like it might be great to share with you the different ways that these work and then the ways that maybe you might find that they don't work so well proportions are everything so keeping that in mind of course when it comes to sandals I recommend opting for something that is slimmer fitting because you are carrying that line the whole way down if you want to wear a chunkier sandal maybe consider something that doesn't again have that strap across the foot because it will create that additional visual break that will ruin and disrupt the flow of your outfit heeled sandals again same thing you have the little strap across the foot and it's just going to cut you off a little bit same as they would with a cropped jean so one that I would personally avoid but if you love it I think you should just go for it. Next up the ballet flare and again a really strong contender for pairing with this particular kind of trouser or jean because you do have a little bit more skin on show it is a little bit more dainty more feminine and I find it really suits this silhouette because it does really just lean into creating that nice long lean visual line and when you do have more of your foot exposed where you can it doesn't create as much disruption and of course my Vanelli two-tone pumps really shine here same goes with the high heel but this isn't my favorite look I think if you are pairing it with some more kind of relaxed eased out knitwear or even a blazer that is a bit oversized like the one I'm wearing right now that also has a bit more length to it then you can really make it work that is probably the way that I would opt to wear skinny jean now with a pair of high heel pumps. Now skinny jeans to me work really well with any kind of boot. Again, the thing to keep an eye out for is whether or not you're revealing any of those slivers of skin. So with a lug sole chunky boot, this is perfect as it has this really nice sort of heavy grounding appeal to it and it's very utilitarian and again just worn with a super slouchy sweater maybe a nice big trench coat or wool coat over the top this is a really chic outfit I think the key thing here is to make sure that your jeans tuck in really nicely to your boots when you are wearing more of a cut-off ankle boot you'll see with my old Everlane ones here that I don't really have any skin on show because the length of these skinny jeans meets the top of the boot perfectly but you could avoid any kind of skin sandwich moments by wearing a matching sock. When it comes to loafers, the chunky loafer does work. However, I think it's best to avoid something with a lot of embellishment on it. So the pair that I'm wearing here is to illustrate more so the shape than anything else. I think that they work best with something that does have a little bit more of a slimmer refined fit like my Cezanne loafers or even the Sam Edelman loafers, the Gucci loafers, loads of options out there and that's quite a very classic pairing. They also work really well with sneakers but I wouldn't recommend wearing them with a high top. For me this is a little bit awkward, it feels very much in that era of when I was sort of 14, 15 and there was a lot of that kind of punk rock bands coming out, you'd wear the skinny jean with your converse and a band tee. It's a moment in time that personally I have moved on from and I think probably many of you have as well. But again, if you love that look, I think just go for it. Probably the thing that I would recommend is opting for a high top that is all one color. So it's really seamless and that is very similar in tone to the jeans that you're planning to wear them with. I much prefer them with a traditional sneaker, something that is a little bit more low cut, that does have a little bit more heft to it, weight to it. I've got these ones here from Emmeline, but even my Golden Boost sneakers, Oliver Cabell do a very similar style. Those are probably some other good options, and again, very kind of mom on duty style. So that kind of wraps everything up, and I really hope that you found this useful and that it gave you a good sense of which trouser and jean pairings you like with which shoes. And I think it's also just worth reinforcing that there are no hard and fast rules. A lot of the time when we are thinking about and considering these sorts of things, we're really talking to what we are looking for right now in this very moment. So what it is that our eye has settled on, and that's something that is going to be transient and change over time. If there was any particular pairing that you personally really loved, let me know. But I hope having that same base outfit really helped to illustrate my points. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me, and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon.
Bye.